Hey guys, how's it going? Cheers to you. Happy Sunday. Um, drinking my uh, see how it makes my my lips blue and my teeth blue while I'm drinking it. Hold on. Um, I came out here to shoot this vlog before I go for a run. I'm finally feeling okay to go for a run again. I don't know if I said this in my last couple of vlogs, but I had a very sudden Achilles, I'm gonna say concern, versus serious injury. But my Achilles, uh, especially the one on my right um, heel or whatever you have, Achilles issue, was really flaring up and I was really concerned. I think what it is is that I went running in the wrong kinds of shoes. Um, on a terrain that was not ideal and I think I just jacked it up um, but I was actually supposed to be running uh, a 5k out in DC with Tony Horton and the crew um, this weekend and I had to opt out of it because of the Achilles situation and uh, they were like you shouldn't be running any long distance that's super long <laughs> I just splashed all over myself because I know people like my marathoners or whatever like 5k <laughs> It's like a hop, skip, and a jump. Oh, I love this stuff. So here's the thing. The reason I came out here to shoot, blue teeth, the reason I came out here to shoot this before heading out is that um, I, I learned something, or I hope that, it, I'm pretty sure that we've learned what might be, I don't wanna say a solution, but what my issue has been. Remember you guys, I, and I learned this solution last week when I was at Under Armour, with, uh, cause I talked to Chris the trainer about it. <sighs> Let me go back, it's been too long. Um, anyway. Remember, I've, I've been sharing this with you guys a couple of times, really most recently, I think, maybe, excuse me, the past month or so, where I would tell you that when I would run outside, I was having this issue where I would like run a mile and a half out, I think it's about a mile and a half, but I'd get to like my halfway point, whatever, and I'd turn around, I'd usually want to check my heart rate monitor just to see where I was at. And then I would start to run back and I was getting this issue where right about that time, I'd always have this really bad, uh, the only way to describe it is like stomach cramping. And I would feel that like it was just really bad cramping in my abdominals and I couldn't tell. It was almost in between feeling like woman cramps around that time of the month, really intense, or the kind of cramping that you get when you maybe eating something and like hours later you're going, oh God, you know, and your, your stomach is churning and it's really, it's like a slow churn and, and it was just cramping, tight cramping where I knew I couldn't run and like running would make it feel worse. And so I'm, I'm at the halfway mark and I'm turning around and I'm like, I gotta walk. And then I'm at the point where the cramping and the stomach ache is bad enough that I'm looking at my phone going, I almost want to call someone and have them pick me up because I just want to get to my house and have this feeling. I'm just probably sharing way too much information with you. But you know, the whole point, I'm trying to get you to understand what I was feeling because I had no idea why I was going through this considering the fact that all I do when I go for a run in the morning is I come out here and I chug this and I go. So we're getting to something, because I'm like, I haven't eaten anything. What could be in my stomach that's making me have this horrible cramping and the need to like rush back to my place to be near a bathroom? And, and then of course I was thinking in the bigger picture, right? I'm thinking, how in the hell am I gonna do a half marathon with Amy in, in November if you know I'm getting a mile and a half out and I'm having to like walk really slow to kind of walk this out? And the thing is, is if I walked, I'm gonna say I would walk, how many blocks? Let's say maybe an eighth of a mile or something. You know, I'd walk for like seven, eight minutes and I would really focus on breathing and just calming down. And then inevitably I'm like, cramping's gone away, I'm okay. 
And I was a little, I, at that point I'd be a little scared going, should I, should I run again or should I just keep walking? You know, and then inevitably I would start to do some running and then I would end up running the rest of the way back to my house and end up adding a few laps because I'm okay. So what in the world that has been boggling my mind? What in the world is causing this situation where my stomach is cramping up and, and then it gets better? You know, and it's not like I'm getting home and having these horrible stomach cramps, and it's it's not something I've eaten because I'm I'm uh, you know obviously going on an empty stomach, and I just was totally confused. And then I tried to you know of course overanalyze it and think, okay, when I'm at home and I get up and I do Turbo Fire or um, you know one of my cardio DVDs at home, is this happening at home? And I, I couldn't think of whether it did or not, um, but it just seemed to be more on the runs. Well, when we got out to Under Armour headquarters, excuse me, on Tuesday, um, we literally got off the plane, um, we got in a limo, we went out to headquarters, uh, we really literally just went in, changed, because Jamie was like, you know, I've got you guys hooked up with the um, Under Armour 39 team and we're going to do this workout. So I was like, cool. Um, so we start doing this workout and again, it was super intense. I mean, it was awesome. Um, it really kind of, it humbled me in a good way because it made me realize like, holy cow, here I am feeling pretty good about my level of fitness. And I got out there and he was like, he designed a 20 minute circuit that just annihilated me. I don't know if I talked about this in my last video or not because everything I do is rambling and I don't remember what day it is or month it is or what city I'm in really bad all the time now. But anyway, what song is this? Oh, disturbed. Um, so uh, it happened out there. We get into this circuit, and this circuit is actually, Jamie was sending me some pictures of this last night. I'm going to see if I can show you um, on uh, her cell phone last night. I'll see if I can show you. I'm going to have to enlarge it. I don't know if you can really tell. <laughs> but that's me doing the sled. So they had a sled where we were going up and down the hills, and then, uh, which was, I remember looking at it going, hold on, I don't know if Dave's going to get mad at me, but this is, we had the TRX is the rip trainer, so that's Dave doing like the rip trainer, and uh, what's this, oh this is me running uh, lateral runs up and down the thing, which is one of my favorite things to do. I told you guys when I get half to my halfway point, I do, and I didn't know what they were called, lateral, run, lateral runs um, up and down the uh, football field. Uh, hold on. This is me and the Amazon woman next to me named Tori. <laughs> you see the difference? <laughs> she was so tall and amazing. She was like a Greek goddess. But that's me doing the, um, the rip trainer. So some of the circuits that he had, it was like they had the, the rip trainer there. She's doing kettlebells. They had a rowing machine. They had, and then part of it was lateral sprints up and down that field to the, I don't know, 50. And then the other one was sprint all the way down to the end and come back. Um, and then there was the sled. For me, they put a 25 pound plate on it, on the sled, to go up the hill, turn around and come back. Um, kettlebell, rip trainer, oh, and then uh, resistance bands. So they had the resistance bands where you were doing rows. So you just went from, one thing to one thing to one thing. And, you know, when he when he described it to us, it didn't seem like it was, I don't want to say it seemed like it was going to be easy. I knew it was going to be intense. Um, but my heart rate was getting so intense. And the thing is with him, he did not, he was not letting us stop. And part of me for a minute was starting to go, okay, this guy doesn't understand. I need to stop for a minute. But then I realized like he's looking at my, and I'll get into that later, but He's looking at my my Armor 39. So this is what I'm wearing on my chest, right? He's looking at the results and what my heart rate is on my phone because I don't know if I can even show you. Probably not without activating it. But, you know, everything for your Armor 39 is on here. So he could see where my heart rate was. Finally, I had to get to the point like, okay, he's not going to let me die. And I'm... I'm kicking my own ass here, but I'm just going to have to go with it. So there were so many times where I was so out of breath and I, I was looking at the Gatorade and I'm like, give me some Gatorade. And I was, oh, my neighbor's out front and it's very strange. 
I'm getting back to the, the stomach aching thing, stomach cramping. No matter where I live, I have strange neighbors around me. <laughs> Maybe that's going to be my nice future is that when uh, we're at the next level of success, I'll be able to buy an air, my house where it's really private. Um, so what happened is we get about, no, we, we did the whole thing, but um, I think maybe he was going to have us do, oh yeah, we finished the 20 minute circuit, which was really intense. And I was like gasping for air thinking I was going to die. And then he's like, okay, we're going to go up here and, you know, do some football drills. And I'm like, I need to run to the restroom. And I was just starting to get like the cramping, right? But I also had to pee. So I ran up to the restroom. Long story short, which I never have long story short. It's always long story long. But I went to the restroom and I'm sitting there again. Same thing. Intense cramping. Intense cramping to the effect of I knew that I had to just sit there. I'm in this huge, big restroom stall, right? I'm giving you way too much information. But I learned a lesson out of this, which I believe he was accurate. So I'm in this stall and I'm literally sitting up against the wall, just stomach cramping and I'm like every time I would think okay I can go back out there I'm like no no stay near this bathroom and I'm, I'm having this cramping and I'm like <sighs> and I'm doing my yogic breathing and I'm making sure I'm breathing in and out of my tummy and I'm like what in the hell why why is this happening to me like this can't be that I'm gonna get a horrible stomach ache where I'm doubled over in pain needing to be near a restroom every time I get to you know an intense heart rate or whatever so I finally calm myself down and I'm, I'm also horrified the whole time I'm in there thinking of them out there going, she's still in the bathroom? <laughs> it's like so awkward. So I go back out there and I could see them turning around going, well, there she is. And so I went up to Chris and I said, I'm just, I gotta ask you because you're a trainer, you, you know, you know this kind of stuff. You gotta help me out here. What's going on with my life and my body that this is happening? And I explained what happened at the running situation repeatedly. I've explained what just happened there. And, and Jamie chimes in and she's like, Kelly, all you've had to, um, you know, you haven't had any water before this um, workout. You've just had a Diet Coke. And I have been letting myself have, you know, you guys know I've been having a Diet Coke here and there. Um, I don't drink it all day, but I do know I've been fully aware the past several weeks that I have been horrible on drinking my water. Okay, it's usually my thing that I keep several of these bottles around and I just refill them, but I, I chug them during the day. So I look at, you know, Jamie and I'm like, oh, you think that's it? Like I thought she was just <clears throat> giving me crap about Diet Coke. But then Chris starts talking to me and he's like, you know, starts asking me questions about water, about my nutrition. And he's like, look, he goes, the body has a way of just shutting itself down. And he said, if you are pushing your body and not giving it everything it needs and then whether it's a run or this he goes that cramping that that tightening up with your stomach he said that's just your body reacting he said you know so yeah if you came out here and you had no water in your system and you probably didn't have any good nutrition you might have a sandwich like several hours later on the plane but he goes and then you know you have the the crappy diet coke in your system blah 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 and and, and nothing and you're going so intense and you're asking so much out of your body he's like that's good and I'm like really you think that all of this could be just that you know not having enough water and and I knew that I needed water I just didn't think that maybe not having enough water and being dehydrated essentially um, and or maybe not having t something to eat before I go on a run or a workout or whatever could be it but the more I thought about it I'm like wow I have no doubt that as much as, and I thought back over the past two weeks, two or three weeks in particular, my travel schedule's been insane. I haven't eaten enough. And, you know, I've been eating power bars on the plane and then having water. But, you know, sometimes when I'm on the plane, I won't chug a lot of water because I don't want to be running back to the plane air um, bathroom a lot. That's when I should be drinking more. And then he starts getting into this big conversation with me about diet soda. And you guys know, I catch a lot of flack because I love Diet Coke so much. And he's like, why don't you just drink a regular Coke? And I'm like, why are you saying this? This is like the third time I've heard somebody say this. But apparently they're saying that, you know, if you drink a regular soda, there's like three or four ingredients in it. Whereas if you drink the diet soda, all the stuff that goes into making a diet is so much worse than just, he goes, honestly, I'd rather have you drink a regular Coke. And I'm like, the weird thing about me 
among several hundred thousand weird things about me, um, is that I just don't actually prefer the taste of regular Coke um, to diet. I like diet. Um, that said, I've really been focusing the past couple of days on chugging my water, and now this morning, instead of just coming out here and only having this, I've had already a half a bottle of this. I'm chugging some more water, and I'm gonna see how this affects my run. So, I will report back to you later on that. Further, last night I was at Amy's, and um, I was getting ready to leave, and I told her this whole thing, and she told me I have to try this. She goes, I think I'm gonna solve your soda problem, because they were like, why don't you like water? And I'm like, well, I like water when I work out. But just sitting around drinking water, there's no fizz in it, and there's no taste to it. So she handed me this. Now, I gotta tell you, obviously, I drank it. This is sparkling ice, black raspberry, naturally flavored sparkling mountain spring water with vitamins and antioxidants, zero calories. So I'm gonna have to look into this because I gotta tell you, I found it quite pleasurable. So, I'm curious to hear what you guys think if you, before you go on a run, or if you think this whole long drawn out story I'm telling you, if you can relate to it, you know, is this something that you've been totally dehydrated and you've had cramping and, and I mean, as I say it now, why is that guy out there looking freaking weird? Um, sorry, they're just never home and then they're home and it's strange. Um, as I'm saying it, as I'm saying to you, Oh, if you go out and you run and you're dehydrated, you might have intense cramping. It kind of makes sense. Um, and then it kind of makes sense that I was trying to do this horrifically intense, and by horrifically, I mean good horrifically, horrifically intense um, circuit training where really all I had in my stomach was a Diet Coke. Um, probably not a great idea. So um, I'm going to test this out. I'm excited because if this is it, you know, it really is just... And I need to do that anyway for myself, get a grip on, you know, my life is insane, my travel schedule is insane. I need to be able to fit in, not only fit in my workouts and fit in what I want to accomplish every day, but I've got to make sure that I'm taking care of myself nutritionally and with my supplements or I'm just going to end up being like a crazy, um, dried up, shriveled piece of flesh laying on the floor dead. And that's today's positive thought. <laughs> I'm going to go run. 17 minutes. Sorry, guys. <laughs>